I mean, the, St Andrews has had significant leaks for a number of years. All of the lead roofs have sort of got to the end, well, the majority of them have got to the end of their life. Um, and it's just been a, a case of trying to patch up as and when a leak occurs. So the PCC applied for lottery funding for pretty much all of the roofs as a very ambitious project, which unfortunately wasn't successful. But the recommendation was to break it down into more manageable project sizes. So what we've ended up with is the North and South Trams. Um, the project involves um, largely redoing the lead work, but we've also got fairly significant masonry repairs in, in association. Um, we've got carpentry repairs to the substrate, so the boarding underneath the lead work. Um, we've got rainwater goods. Um, I think that's everything. Um, we found significant other work while we've been here. Mm -hmm. um, once you get up close, you start moving things, taking a few coping stones off. You find that the walls started to um, crumble underneath, really. So we're having to consolidate the wall tops to put new copings back on and, and use the existing copings as well. So we've got stonemasons up there um, doing work now. When we stand back in a little while, you'll see we have some new carvings put in place to replace this guy. Yeah. And, and the, I mean, the artist has really done some brilliant carving, and as you'll see, I've got some pictures as well. Um, a new cross has gone in place as well. But we're talking about a man dog with this. We think there may be some monkey in particularly carving on the right hand pinnacle. Um, I'll show you when we get across the lead between two mallets, we move the lead around to form the corners. I won't do too much of that, but because it takes a little while. But you can see them forming a corner there. So you take some lead out of there. If you look across that face of that piece of lead, it looks fine, doesn't it? It looks absolutely, you know, you have to just have a look at it, it looks fine. But if you look just here, there's a little pinhole just there. And that's enough to have. So if I turn it round, you'll see the watermarks. So you've got boarding here, you can see the lines where the boards are, and then there's a rafter down there, and that's enough to have rotted the boards and then rotted the top of the rafter. When you stand and look at the castle roof here, but there's been some pieces of lead added in where the base is split, so you end up with insufficient lap to keep the water tight. They have another piece of lead in underneath to try and extend the lap down. And we've got that on this self transept here, and then the people that did it actually then nailed through the lead through to hold their piece of lead in place. 